Hey everybody, on this video we're gonna see a plugin from Yanobox and FX Factory. I don't know if you remember the previous video with the storm that you could create uh, animations based in nature and some great uh, effects in Final Cut Pro 10, usually effects that uh, you could create in different apps, like After Effects, based on the same idea. Now, we're gonna see the Nodes plugin that you can create motion graphics and animations with uh, data, with HUD elements, with uh, more, you know, more crazy stuff. And um, let me just stop the talking and watch this out. Before we begin, I want to tell you that I will have a link in the description of this video down below for you to get this plugin and you can use the coupon code EMILIO and get 10% off your purchase. So what do you say? Let's go into Final Cut Pro and see what we can do with this plugin. As you saw, I'm trying a new feature that you are going to be able to see me and interact real time. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like this. Uh, new angle so we open file cut pro 10 here is um, what i created on the intro but let's go and take a look on the nodes 3. so how we're going to use the nodes first we can just drag this and place it you will find it on the title section after you install the plugin and from here you can go into the inspector panel on the right and you can click on browse presets then you can either go here and search or you can use the wheel to go from diagram effects. You can go to HUD elements, you know, create these uh, uh, nice Iron Man features or um, what can we say about Josh Yo, Make Art Now, you know, with all this AI and stuff. This is a great plugin, so you can do this as well. We have the nodes in the sky, so you can select whichever you want. For example, let's say this compound cubes, apply, and simply as that, you have it on your timeline. You play it, you see that it's scrolling right now, and on the inspector panel, you can select to have nodes as well with the lines. You can have text if you want to the nodes, you can use a background if you want and you can select the background color and then some other settings that we're going to see. For example, we're going to create um, some examples from the intro that you saw in the beginning. On the left, on the titles, we see that we have all the um, different nodes that we can use on the plugin and we have them there as well. What's good with this way and this is the way that I usually work it is that I can mouse over this and I can preview each of the nodes that I'm going to use. For example, let's uh, go down. Let's go first to the letters. How I did this on the beginning that had random letters. For example, here we have the nodes jump cut words and we bring it into our timeline. And you can see here that we have the button to edit text. Here we can edit all the text and I can change here the duration, so I'm seeing, okay, let's say that I want it to be a little bit faster. So I will go into the inspector panel, I will go into the animation, the destination one is what animation we have right now, and I can change the speed to 18, for example, and you will see now that the words are changing faster. Now, what I did to keep the notes in the beginning, let's say I want to cut it here and I see that the last word is Terence. So I select that. I go into the edit text. I'm going into Terence. Let's see where is Terence. Let me just delete all this. I don't think we need it. <laughs> Okay, so now it's Darius, okay, 
So we're gonna find Darius and we're gonna place nodes. Okay, and we can see that now we finish at nodes and option or start in my keyboard F and I'm freezing the frame. So I'm playing this and nodes. I keep it as much as I want to that. Also, we have other, uh, the numbers that you saw that they were uh, placing down. Um, whoever saw the promo, um, different notes that you can uh, use with some sound effects like bling, 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 and you see different uh, elements in front of you. Now, a lot of you might wonder, okay, this is a plugin Final Cut, but dude, how did you place this uh, 3D element? How did I do that? I use the nodes matrix constructor. So I'm placing it here in the timeline. Now on the nodes matrix constructor, as we play that, you see that it's just constructing the elements. Nice, nice. But we have nodes, we have lines, we have everything. If we go now into the form, I can select import object from 3D models. And I have an object, a 3D model that I downloaded for free. There are plenty of um, websites that have 3D elements. You can use uh, camera lenses. You can use uh, whatever object you want that you want to have it as a 3D. You're going to load it here. And simply as I'm going to load, clicking here on select the objects, and I have the final base mesh of a human. Perfect. And I see that as I'm playing it now, it's getting constructed. But what is it that I don't want to match it? I don't want the lines to begin with. So I'm deselecting the lines. As you can see, I can disable the background as well. So I can have it. I can click here and change how I want this to be. And then I go into the nodes, the node size. I can change the node size to smaller or bigger. Okay. And also on the node section now, I can uh, change the thickness, how thick I want. I can change the softness. There are a lot of parameters, a lot of different settings that uh, you can set for your nodes. Also, if I go to camera, for example, I can change the field of view, how close I want it to be or change this. And of course I have keyframes so I can change where it starts and where it goes. So to create animations as well. Here on the animation, I can change uh, if I want to have transform, if I want uh, how, how many time I want to be, how much time I want to be the constructor while it's building the 3D element. This is a very useful uh, node that you can use, for example, in uh, reviews or uh, in your videos where you want to have a, an object, a, a square, and inside, let's say you make uh, a gear review and you want to have the lens, right? So you can have the lens into a 3D object. You will go in uh, the Google and search it and find the 3D object of the element that you want to use. And simply as that, you can move forwards and uh, continue to create this node. On the nodes also, uh, we can change into image list instead of, uh, uh, instead of shape. And uh, you can use your own images as well. And also don't forget that you can create text. For example, you can add add, you can add text as well on it. So as you see, bling, 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 and it's creating the node, the 3D element that I want to do. Very, very useful. I'm telling you, uh, as with the Storm plugin, this is a plugin that has a lot of different features. It's not a plugin that, you know, you purchase it and you say, okay, I got a plugin and I will do only this. It's a plugin where you purchase it and you do lots, lots, lots of different things. Now, I don't know if you remember, but on some of my previous videos, I had an outro and this points tunnel 
does remind you anything so i use this you can change the settings you can play with it with the animations and uh, as you can see here you have a lot of different ready-made elements that you just make some adjustments on the effects you can change for example the color or the notes or the letters and um, you can create amazing things for your videos let's do one more example one example that i like you know very much for example this uh, notes depth text this is something that you can use for example when you're uh, searching in data or also you can uh, be a hacker in your laptop and have you seen uh, some effects that you can use that you can create it after for example you edit your text and you enter the text that you want to have and you can then create a compound clip to that create a mask and place it as mirroring in the eyes or glasses so you can have like bling, 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 bling. you have the data that is coming with the text and you can combine all these different nodes with compound clips and with masks to add them into your videos and also i want to mention here that this plugin has been used to a lot of uh, different movies some of them as i'm watching right now on the website is the enders game is the avengers the rise of the planet of apes captain america earth to echo earth to echo you remember this thing that it was bling bling it was what's going on today with me and the sound effects but the earth to echo that um they had some hard elements and some notes that even with the stars in the sky all these were used with notes and notes 3 is not a plugin only for final cut pro it's a plugin that can be used to after effects premiere and other editing programs you know simply as that you you, you drag the notes blurry universe for example and you play it and you have all the animation ready and then you can go into the effects you can go into rendering text change add text remove the lines if you don't want them change the nodes with uh, for example if you go to nodes you can go into the image list and on the images you're placing here select image list the image that you want and you can have images here instead of the shape of the nodes i'm telling you again lots of different possibilities i love this plugin and i'm definitely recommended if you want to do motion graphic animations in final cut pro 10. i hope you found this video helpful and uh, if you did do all this great youtube stuff and also if you have any questions about this plugin i'm waiting them in the comment section down below i want to say a huge thank you to fx factory for supporting this channel thank you so much for watching i'm emilio and i will see you in the next video.